Hey Queens, um, I'll be doing this natural event of drama look for you guys today. Um, I already applied my eyebrows off camera and I cleaned them up with the Toffee Concealer by LA Girl. And right here I'm probably my blur primer by Elf and I'm evenly applying it all over my face. And next I'll be adding the Elf Poreless Potty Primer and the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. And right here, I'm mixing up my foundation with the MAC Studio Mineralized Finish in um, NW45. And I'm mixing it up with, uh, with my ex Mahogany Concealer by LA Girl to kind of give it like a deeper tone. And I'm going to apply that evenly all over my face. And right here, I'm getting my um, Toffee Concealer by LA Girl, and I'm applying it in my T-zone area. And right here, I'm using the Mahogany um, Concealer by LA Girl to do my contour. And I'll be blending my contour and my concealer with a beauty blender. And I'll be blending out my contour with a blending brush. Now the trick is with blending out your concealer, you'll want to blend it out in whatever shape that's more flattering to your face. I have high cheekbones, so I blend mine out in a V, so my highlight can rest on my cheeks. And I don't have to really do too much contouring to make my cheekbones pop out. So, yeah, and then when you're blending out your, con your the concealer, you don't want any harsh lines, so you'll want to take a beauty blender, the beauty blender or this brush or whatever you use to blend out your foundation to use that so there won't be any lines or demarcation on your face between your highlight and your foundation. You want anything every you want everything to be seamlessly. So when you're blending out your concealer you, you want to figure out what is more flattering to your face shape and then after you blend out to use your sponge that you use or your brush that you use to apply your foundation to make it more like a smooth transition. When you're blending out the concealer around your nose, you'll want to put the lighter concealer light on your on the on the corners and the sides of your nose. 
So when you add your contour, the highlight for the concealer from the um from the sides will cut your nose and make it look a lot smaller or contour it a lot better by um blending out the concealer in the and you, well the concealer is like that you highlight in your contour concealers as you can see my highlight area is in a V shape And then after you set your concealer, you'll want to use like a medium or whatever your skin tone is, like a shade or two down to merge your concealer and your foundation together so it won't be any lines of demarcation. So it'll be a smooth transition with the shades that you're using to apply on your face. Because you don't want to use your, oh, you could do, I don't use my, um, my setting powder to blend out my um my my concealer but it to merge them together i use it sewn in between darker than my concealer and but lighter than my setting powder if that make any sense Well, this look is basically done now. The only thing I'm going to do next is apply my wing liner, eyeliner on my water, I mean my lower lash line, and my lipstick. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.